Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here and we are back with another video. Now in this video guys, we're going to be discussing something that has to do with me and my team, the Falcons. Now if you guys don't know, the Falcons head coach is Dan Quinn. So yes, this video will be talking about Dan Quinn. And yes, I have released videos before where I released my frustration about Dan Quinn. But I'm not going to do that in today's video. I'm going to specifically talk about why Dan Quinn should be fired after next season. Because I don't think things are going to change. You bring it, like, alright, let me just get, in, let me just straight into this. Dan, Dan Quinn has been the, the head coach for the Falcons for five seasons. Now, when we brought in Dan Quinn, first of all, we thought he was going to change our defense, and yes, he did change our defense for a better. Our defense is really, really improving. But, out of five seasons, Dan Quinn has been the Falcons head coach. Two of those seasons, we made the playoffs. Two of those seasons, we've had a winning record. The other seasons, 7-9, seven 7-9 nine, seven nine this past season, and 8-8. Eight and eight. That is not good. This is going to be his sixth season with the Atlanta Falcons. So if he does not have a winning record after this season, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear from Arthur Blank. I don't want to hear from Thomas Dimitrov, who who should who, who actually should have been fired this year. I'll, I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He's gotten many moves for us. He pulled off the Julio Jones thing, so I got to give him the benefit of the doubt. But Dan Quinn... This this is his if this is his year to prove to everyone that he can be a good coach. Because if he doesn't have a winning record with this Falcons team and the way this Falcons team is going, with a running back of Todd Gurley's caliber, with Dante Fowler Jr., with good draft picks, we're gonna get an outside linebacker or cornerback in the first draft. If he doesn't make the playoffs this year, Dan Quinn needs to be fired in twenty twenty one. We need to have a new head coach coming into that next year. And I don't know which of the coaches will be available after this season if we have a season. But Dan Quinn needs to be gone if we don't make the playoffs this season. I'm, I'm being straight and simple. Like, I'm being straight up. Dan Quinn needs to be gone. I don't like this guy for the simple factor. It's just that <clears throat> I don't think he's one of those people that, you know, like, can motivate you. Even though, yes, um, in the first half of the season, we actually were 1-7. And, and then we finished 7-9 and nine at the end of the season. So we went, what, 6-2 six and, six and two at the end of the season? Which is actually very, very good. And our defense did improve. But what, what, why did the defense need to... What, why did the defense... Why did Dan Quinn being threatened, um, threatened of being fired have to change his team? Like, why does that have to do with anything? Yes, the head coach may be fired, and that does motivate the other people to pick it up because they know they may be dropped. But why does that have to do? You should be motivated from the beginning of the season. That's, that's the thing that should be happening. You should be motivated from the beginning of the damn season. We were 1-7 and seven through, through the first half of the season, and we finished 6 We The second half of the season, we were 6-2. and two. We lost against teams that we weren't even supposed to lose against. We got blown out by Minnesota, who has Kirk Cousins. We got beat by Tennessee. We got beat by the Houston. Uh, wait, yeah, we beat. Yeah, we got beat by Houston. Some of these teams that we that we lost to, we just didn't need to lose to, and we did. Can you imagine if we had played as well as we did in the second half of the season, the first half of the season, we would have honestly made the playoffs. We would have honestly made the playoffs. Right now, I feel like the Falcons are one of the... I can't... No, I'm not going to say they're one of the laughing sauces in the NFL because we're really not. But we have the potential to become a Super Bowl winning team. All we have to do is just realize that potential and play well and have not many injuries because Keanu O'Neal like, got injured. Devontae Freeman was dealing a whole bunch of injured. I'm glad he's gone. It, it, it's just crazy, to be honest. It seems like the only two guys that can actually stay fit during the whole season is the quarterback and the wide receiver. I'm talking about Matt Ryan and Julio Jones. Those two guys are the reasons Dan Quinn did not have a worse record than this. Because if Matt Ryan or Julio Jones had gotten injured for any for a long part of this this past season, Dan Quinn would have been fired. To, Dan Quinn would not be the head coach of the Falcons right now. Matt Ryan finished top five in the passing yards. 
Julio Jones finished top five in receiving yards. Who and, and you want to say you want to say Dan Quinn's a very good ho- head coach. The reason why Dan Quinn is still the Falcons head coach as of this day right now is due to Matt Ryan and Julio Jones in this offense. If Matt Ryan wasn't a Super Bowl winning quarter- caliber quarterback, then I don't think Dan Quinn would be head coach right now. I think it'd be somebody else, and we would be moving on. We would probably be rebuilding. I mean, we technically kind of are rebuilding, but yeah. His first season, seven and if I if I if I remember right, it was seven and nine. Second season made the Super. Well, no, wait. I don't even know. I think first season. I think his first season, Dan Quinn finished seven and nine. Then we made the playoffs, went to the Super Bowl, and we made the playoffs again. Then we went eight and eight, and then recently we went seven and nine. Something just doesn't seem right with Dan Quinn, and I don't, and I really just don't think he's going to be the coach for the Falcons come next season. So that's all I'm basically just saying. This is a quick, short video. If Dan Quinn doesn't pick his shit up, and Dan Quinn doesn't have a winning record at the end of the 2020-2021 NFL season, he will be gone as a Falcons head coach. I can promise you that. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Please smash the like button. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.